Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to introduce this add-on that I always use, Human Generator. If you see my Instagram or see my YouTube, almost all the human model that I use is used based on Human Generator, make some customized on top of that, like the latest post, uh, like a makeup style. So this is all Human Generator. And also like this, the body is also post on human generator. Also the previous stuff you see in my YouTube. I have to talk about why I think human generator is the kind of like the best add-on for Blender user. Especially if you don't want to use other software because it's very difficult to jump back and forth from other software like import output personally i would like to build anything just inside of the blender flawlessly easily to do the, all that the easiest way is the best way so if you click the link up here or down in the description it will lead you to this blender market and you can get this add-on from there briefly talk about how to use this add-on and how i customize my human shape to be even more artistic control and because in the future i might talk about more about like a human kind of topic like this kind of makeup or something so that's why i have to introduce this add-on because people keep asking me which add-on how to get this model and all the topic i talk in the future you can use this add-on or without this add-on you just have to have better knowledge about blender how you build a model and how do you texture your human model skin if you without this add-on but you can also follow all my tutorial and you can join my Patreon to get my future project file. So let's jump in to discuss Human Generator, this awesome add-on. First, let's quick take a look what is this add-on and how to use it. After you properly install this Human Generator, you will see this panel. You have default human male, default female. So let's take a look at this. You just create that. Then you will see this model and let's see in the EV so that you will see in the EV and let's see in the cycle that's how it looks in the cycle so as any other human generated software you have this different body type that you can switch and all these different base control you can do so let's make some very simple change and if you have turned on this, it makes this change more stronger. So you can go very extreme. This slider will be on one. Sometimes that will be what you like. So let's say if I'm happy with this, so I can change with some like a default face shape and more Asian, more like a black people, or more Caucasian. And change the skin texture we would like to have some surface scattering but at default I feel it's too strong so I can go to its material and change it over here so it's like a procedural material so it's we can do a lot with this we can turn on and turn off the underwear and you can see these eyes have this kind of black area you can tweak that as well and you have like a gray curls and different skin tone change the eye color I really like green eye so let's make that okay and uh, make some basic hair a lot of different kind of hairstyle but I usually I like to use some short hair just use this and I can make it even shorter and we can change some of the hair color so maybe let's make some blue hair and by default the skin texture is 4k so we can go all the way to 8k so it's a lot of detail so just use 4k for now okay let's say I'm really happy with this so I can just click here to finish our setting of this human so let's make it and then we will see this panel so you have some clothes that you can put on 
and also some shoes, some post. Okay, and also we can make some expression. But I would like to make my own expression, so I use this face rig and just add face rig. So now we can use this face rig. Click on the rig and go to the post mode. You can see we can make some expression. Okay, so after the face rig, basically we have finished creating our human model. So now it's only the matter of change the post and also make some detailed sculpting for this model if you still not totally happy with what you got with this. So let's see how to do that. First, let's make some post. Click on this bone and go to the post mode. Then just post whatever you feel like. Maybe I make it like a standing. So I'm happy with this. So the new post system is changed for 3.2 or 3.1. Before you can go to here to this post library. But now it changed to using the SS library. So let's show you how to do that. If you go to the post mode, you will see this animation. So after you finish your post for the model, you just select O and click this create post. SS. So you will have this post. And if you go to your SS library, you go to the current file, you will see this post. And it will create a thumbnail for your post. This thumbnail is coming from this your current active camera. So maybe I want to make it to be closer so I can see all the model. So let's say like this. And let's go back to the post mode and make a new, another one but we can delete the old one using this clear asset okay so now we have this we can rename that over here then I would like to have another post just use clear this and this like a T post so let's create another one Call this T post. Then you just double click and you will go to this post. So that is the post. So now I want to make some change for its body because although it looks pretty nice, but I still want to make it more detailed. So I like to model this body more by creating a shape key. I call that key zero one then turn this all the way to one so whenever i change this model it will apply on this blend key make sure you slay on this and turn this to one then just go to the scope mode and starting sculpting usually i would like to scope this neck to more like uh, have more structure with the bone so let's do that turn on this mirror So you see it like this, you can make your body even more skinnier. And also this color bone, I would like it to be more visible. So, so now just like uh, however you like. Also like this eye area, usually I would like to model it a little bit to make it more realistic. Also for the nose, I would like it here to be more sharper. You will see like uh, the hair become not much because they will turn off these eyes for the hair children but now i would like to turn on and i can keep sculpting when the hair is on but in this case a little bit slower performance now i want to focus on the eyebrow because now i feel the eyebrow is too thick i can make it thinner by 
just model on this body. Okay, so that's the one way. Okay, so now I'm happy with this. I'm go back to object mode. Let's turn off her hair first. Now let's go back to see this shape key. So that is before I scope, that is after. If I'm happy with this, that's okay. And if I feel it's too strong, I can make it to be 0.5. So I can still control a little bit because sometimes when we scope, we tend to scope stronger than it really needs. So we can use this way to turn it back a little bit. Maybe 0 0.8 is strong enough. So that is how it looks. So you can make a multiple of this and you just scope each individual part you feel like and you don't have to be all in this one key. So maybe I can make another one for key 0 2 maybe for the body and turn this to be 1 and I scope on this so maybe let's make some change for the body so maybe I feel over here is a little bit unnatural I can make it a little bit smaller Now I'm finished sculpting the body. I feel now it looks all right. So I can also make it a little bit weaker like this. Okay, so now just go back to check post. Is everything still looks fine? So let's take a look at the arm. So yeah, it still looks okay. It will not change the body too much because sometimes if you scope too strong when you post it will be weird so that's you better take a look especially this eyelash sometimes if you scope something around the eyes area it will have some imperfection so just make sure you didn't scope too strong or you will have to fix that remember we have scope on this eyebrow so maybe just make sure it still looks fine. We can live like that, just uh, do anything else with the model to post or to render or anything. But if you're really happy with this, you want to make it become your base shape, we can do that. Shape key will no longer be there. If we take a look at this blend key, we have these two that we made. And also we have this base key. So let's select on this and go to the header mode and make sure you select all the vertex okay so let's make some angle so we can see the change so you select this vertex and go to this blend brown shape and it will start as the base and let's switch to this key one and set as the same as this we set 0.8 Okay, and after that, you click on the blank area and that will be applied to the base shape. So let's do that again. Go to the blank front shape and go to this key 2 that we made and say as same as this 0, 9 and click and that is how you pass your blend shape to the base blend shape. So let's go to the object mode. And you will see your body looks a little bit weird because we still turn on this. So now we can turn off this and we can see that is our final result. So we can delete these two now. 
So now we have this beautiful model that we made. And let's go check this post. Is everything still works as it should be? Okay, so then the arm looks fine. About the face, everything still looks fine. And somehow, if your facial rig is not working, just don't worry about that. Go to the object mode and go to this human generate panel and then go to this expression and click this remove facial rig and after that you just go to the facial rig and generate the facial rig again and if you go to the post mode the facial rig should works again yeah so that is how you make your model more customized be exactly as you wish we can still apply some modifier subdivision modifier so the shoulder go smoother and let's see this in the cycle so that's in the cycle it's really beautiful i think she looks very beautiful so that is everything for today because in the future i might cover a lot anything topic around with the human human generator is my go-to add-on so that's why i'm introduced this add-on to use if you like this add-on click on this link in the description and you can get this add on and if you like this video please like and if you want to support me you can join my patreon and see you in the future bye bye